a mic check on the floor, please? Testing, one, two, three, four. Testing, one, two, three. All right. 73. Ready your countdown. Roll the countdown. Ready, open mic, up on one, ready to cue. Open mic, up on one, cue. This portion of the program is being taped in our kitchen. Do you remember Anne who made the cupcakes for the cameraman? Hi, Anne. What are you doing? I'm checking out these ice cubes for you to use on Studio M today. Well, I hope we can learn about the 18 family before the heat from the lights melts the ice cubes. 18 is a fun family to talk about. It has only one addition equation and only one way to reverse it into subtraction if you're using single digit numbers. It's one of the doubles. In order to find out what the two numbers are, which when added together make 18, we're going to take all the ice cubes out of this tray. Look what Anne did. She added food coloring to the water before it was frozen to make the cubes show up better. Nine plus nine equals 18. If we put all the ice cubes together, the equation would begin with 18. And then by putting nine cubes back in the tray, we would be subtracting nine. 18 minus 9 equals what? The answer, of course, is the 9 still here on the counter. How would the equation look if the problem went like this? I have 9 cubes in the tray. The tray has 18 spaces altogether. How many more cubes are needed to fill it? You might find the answer by subtracting. 18 minus 9 equals 9. The way the equation that states the problem should be written looks like this. 9 plus what equals 18? If you learn this number equation, you will know immediately that the missing part is 9. Now you realize to find a missing part, you subtract the part you know from the whole. To demonstrate the 17 number family, we're going to need one less ice cube. A fast way to get rid of one ice cube is to put it in some hot water. Now the whole number of ice cubes is 17. These are the parts they can be divided into. 9 plus 8 equals 17. Or 8 plus 9 equals 17. 17 minus 9 equals 8. 17 minus 8 equals 9. He multiplies, he adds or subtracts, because everyone needs number facts. Today, to help us with our numbers problem, we have that mathematical wizard, Uncle Eddie. Uh, suppose uh, you give us the answers. You're done the talking. Okay, let's try the first one. Four plus nine. Thirteen. You got the first one right. Nine plus four. Thirteen. You got the second one right. How about 13 minus 9? 4, okay. And 13 minus 4? That's 9. Thanks for helping out, Uncle Eddie. I think I did all the work. For all the addition equations you're learning, you're using just one-digit numbers. There are other ways of making number families, but if you learn all the one-digit addition equations and their subtraction reverses, you'll find out how easy everything else becomes. By now, you should be practicing every day adding two numbers, and each number, or part, should have only one digit. If you can add them, then you know you can subtract them too. Just remember to always start with the whole number when you subtract. Let's try some review as I follow this math path. This is how it works. I'll put one finger on a space with a number on it. You think of that number. Then add it to the number in the space where I put my other finger. 
decide on the answer to the equation before I get to the answer space. If you've memorized Oscar's numbers, you'll know the answer before it's shown. Four plus three equals what? Four plus three equals seven. Three plus five equals what? Three plus five equals eight. Six plus three equals what? Six plus three equals nine. Three plus eight equals what? Three plus eight equals eleven, or eleven equals eight plus three. Nine plus three equals what? Nine plus three equals twelve, or twelve equals three plus nine. Eight plus seven equals what? Eight plus seven equals fifteen. Four plus five equals what? Four plus five equals nine. Four plus seven equals what? Four plus seven equals eleven. Now let's go in the reverse order. Remember, addition equations can be reversed and the answer will still be the same. Seven plus four equals what? Seven plus four equals eleven. Or eleven equals four plus seven. Five plus four equals what? Five plus four equals nine, or nine equals four plus five. Seven plus eight equals what? Seven plus eight equals fifteen, or fifteen equals eight plus seven. Three plus nine equals what? Three plus nine equals twelve. Eight plus three equals what? Eight plus three equals eleven. Three plus six equals what? Three plus six equals nine. Five plus three equals what? Five plus three equals eight. Or eight equals three plus five. Three plus four equals what? Three plus four equals seven. Or seven equals four plus three. And that's our math path. If I punch up button number 18, we'll see a film of an 18 hole golf course. Try to answer the questions asked while you watch. Just think the answer to yourself without speaking. Then when the answer is shown, you'll know if you were right. The flag shows the number nine. That means the players have played nine holes. They must play 18 holes to complete the game. The question is, 
How many more holes must they play? Nine plus what equals 18? Nine plus nine equals 18. There are eight players in this picture. How many more people would have to be in this picture to make a total of 17? Eight plus what equals 17? Eight plus nine equals 17. Multiplies, he adds or subtracts, because everyone needs number facts. Today, to help us with our numbers problem, we have that mathematical wizard, Uncle Eddie. Uh, suppose uh, you give us the answers. You're doing the talking. Okay, let's try the first one. Four plus nine. Thirteen. You got the first one right. Nine plus four. Thirteen. You got the second one right. How about 13 minus 9? 4, okay. And 13 minus 4, that's 9. Thanks for helping out, Uncle Liddy. I think I did all the work. Time to strain your brain. Think about the words involved and they'll explain. Don't be puzzled, think it through, because math is for you. This is a cross number puzzle. You can get the correct answer by going across or down. Watch the flashing shape. You'll be given five blanks before the correct answer appears. See if you can think the number for the flashing block before the answer appears. We'll do the first one together, then you're on your own. 18 minus 9 equals what? And 16 minus 7 equals what? Watch the flashing shape. The answer is 9. Now you're on your own. Hope you got them all right. If you didn't, keep practicing. That's all from here for today. Bye-bye. Cut the mic. Start the theme. Dim the lights to a very low beam. That's all from Studio M today. Cap the cameras and fade. The preceding program was produced by the Ohio Department of Education at WCET.